don't want to go as far as to say that he's like anti-meta, but at the same time, a lot of popular champions that we see almost every map, he does very well against her. Being able to see Nyx through her ghost walk through his barrier, being able to counter Blaskovitz's dual wield damage, uh, being able to chase down you know characters like Anarchy and Nyx, particularly who are, want to just run away from him as fast as possible. He really does do a good job of dealing with that. Already, Demon's been able to sort of control that rail location, even though Polterizer did manage to collect that rail. We did take damage in the process, and right there, would have potentially walked right into that, but Polterizer shooting the floor by mistake. Yeah, gonna have to try and really bait him into collecting that armor. Maybe try to take slow pace stuff, obviously controlling over the rail. Can't really play around that too much. I mean, the damage from a rail is damage. We can see Polterizer already taking damage quite low, but managing to stock himself up a little bit. Yeah, they're gonna trade that mega health, the heavy armor once again. But I feel, as you know, it's actually Demon picking uh, um, Blaskovitz last. However, oh, gets the combo, doesn't kill it, tries to chase it down and does land that rail. Bear in mind, there's a lot of downtime in between those rail shots. If that missed, Demon would have been in a heap of trouble, but very confident gameplay. Polterizer on Visor already. Speaking of Visor, though, we do see him quite a lot on Blood Covenant. Seems very effective. I mean, let's not forget his ability, that Piercing Sight. We can hear he's just Which we just, it. yeah, we just yeah, heard exactly. it. Piercing Sight basically gives him that kind of like X-ray vision through walls. So the way on our spectator cam, we can see X-ray through the walls. He basically sees that himself. Now, Polterizer, he, he is caught in a very bad spot. He does manage to get one rail off. Bear in mind, 70 HP of Demon. If he caught that rail, might have actually traded the frag, but I don't think he was going to try and commit to that. The last thing you want to do is give up two champions so early on. Bear in mind, uh, I think Blaskovitz as well with that natural passive where he's going to regenerate to the next 25 health if he's ever so slightly under it. But right now, Demon, he's been really sort of commanding that long range uh, with the rail. It's good good he's, he's just putting a lot of emphasis on ma making these fights rail focused. Right, We're not really seeing any other weapon from him right now, but it's been quite comfortable for him. But he's uh, picked up that heavy armor, it'll be good for him. But now we can see Polterizer getting the better of these trades, starting to connect a bit more rail shots himself now. Yeah, I feel like Polterizer's been missing quite a few rails though. Like he's getting some good read on where he you know, clearly knows Demon's going to be, but he's not getting the payout. Accuracy is kind of letting him down somewhat here. Nice prediction, going straight in with the dual wheel, waiting no time, catch him going left, going in for another rocket, can he survive though? 85 HP is still more than enough to get the job done. However, at this health he can't tank your rail, but then again, I spoke too soon. This is Blaskovitz we're talking about, straight back up to 100. Yeah, and he has already managed to, uh, unfortunately, I don't want to say waste that dual wheel, but definitely didn't get as much mileage out of it as normal. But yeah. that rocket jump was just to not take a rail, I think. Get around as quickly as possible, doesn't yeah, quite also get the rail. just being up here, we can see the, the, the mega health is up very soon. Looks like Demon's, is he heading towards it now? Yeah, it looks like he might be. Yeah, indeed, nose pole rises over near rocket, so he hasn't got to worry about getting contested from this range, but... I don't know, actually, um, didn't look particularly sure where Polterizer was going to be. As we saw, he was super far away, heading towards Rocket, but he was looking almost near LG in that situation. Or so. missing these Rockets, though. Demon getting a little bit more predictive with these shots, as opposed to reactive. Going down in for that heavy armor once again. And so far, Demon doing such a good job of just controlling both of these major health pickups. Bear in mind, three minutes left. Remember, guys, you can time out and Quake Champions. If you've got more champions than the opponent, by the end of that five-minute mark, you will go up a round. That's three out of five rounds. Oh, as you can talk, speak about the time, though. Both oh, like, Corm oh, wow. on the uh, jump pad, but Polterizer is actually not committing. I was, about, yeah, I was actually just about to say, neither of these players so far are really committing to these fights. They're quite content just poking each other down with damage here and there, but uh, they're not quite full committing at the moment. But at the same time, you know, as, as they're sort of playing this sort of passive style, Demon's definitely going oh, misses a rail. And unless he gets taken down, Polterizer gets that champion kill. Now it's evened out, so Demon was playing super slow, but had the champion advantage. Now, no longer the case. Now, let's take a look at this matchup, right? Nyx versus Visor. Um, normally that ghost walk is such an ace in the hole, you know, being able to get away while walking straight into the uh, tri-bolt, taking a little bit of damage there. But I think it's almost been uncontested mega health. But well, it's like you said, that, that that visor piercing sight goes through that, that ghost walk, that Nyx invisibility. Oh wow, he being really aggressive. Racket. Yeah, there we go, and the ghost walk is forced out, but he doesn't have piercing sight up, so he can't chase it. Yeah, in this one instance, he's not going to be able to use it. Does manage to get a rail now. Demon in a very bad situation, misses the rail. I could have been a frag, misses a second one, and now Polterizer forced to get out of there. Might be kicking himself over a couple of those misses, I think, especially with that one minute warning. 45 seconds, and this round will be over. If he frags Demon right there, he could have potentially just run away from Scalebearer for the rest of the round. But, you know, at the very least, we are still in this round one of, you know, let's not forget, it's first to two maps in the series, but three out of five rounds per map. So they have all the time in the world to figure this out. So they're taking it slow right from the off. It means at the very least, maybe we have quite a passive set ahead of us. The Polterizer getting a lot of N oh, he's got that ne read. Nearly kills. Oh, the oh. comes out the rocket. Doesn't quite connect for max, max damage, but taking away the majority of that armor. Actually, right here, Polterizer. Really nicely loaded up on weapons, especially against Nick with that low health pool. 
There we so go. Hold for to find the control of Mega Health, Demon Gaga. A little bit of sort of a glancing rocket, but not quite enough to take off this Mega Health. That one, oh. on the other hand, is doing quite a lot of damage. Demon Sudden able to force him away again. Polterizer doing a good job of just topping himself up in between. Now no. armor though. Demon can get a good rail here. I wonder if Demon's gonna try and chase this. No being super passive, even with the armor advantage. Kind of surprising to see. So last minute, I mean like perhaps Demon thought he'd already picked up the heavy armor though, because he was pretty fighting near it. Now we are in sudden death, bear in mind. Next frag's gonna win. Catches him mid-rocket jump, so he does damage to himself already. Demon's in big trouble, but Polterizer again. Not looking to chase too hard. I think he maybe predicts that he's up top, but he was underneath him the entire but time. He doesn't need to predict. He has the piercing sight. He could have popped that there and got the chase on, but I think he's, again, just this passive style. I think he's waiting overtime, though, so next frag will win. I think Polterizer is just waiting for that ghost walk. You know, he, he's saving the piercing sight for that last minute when he manages to get a fight that goes well, eliminating that ability to run away for free that Demon otherwise normally would have been able to do without having to predict it. Looks like they're both going head on into each other. Sitting there, can't wait for him to see. There we go. Opting not to go for piercing sight again, though. Saving it. Really surprised. Oh, missed that rail. Demons, are you going to predict him coming out of the teleporter? Goes towards the mega health, picks it up for free. Polterizer. I think he's almost being a bit too passive at this point. You know what I mean? Like, he has the tools to deal with Nyx. He has that visor. He has that piercing sight. He does catch Demon in a few sort of negative situations, but he's quite content just really pushing it. I would definitely like to see Polterizer be a bit more confident. Did not catch sight of him. Wow, took unnecessary damage, however. Kind of minimal damage, really. Could have been much more, seeing he's got ambush with the rocket launcher. That 58 rocket's going to be good. Can tank a couple more rails. If he goes in right now, he might get it, but takes the damage on that rail himself. And now, 100 HP going back towards that mega health. However, the race begins. Nice prediction from Demon, heading him off, and just confident he was going to go for that mega health when the fight went bad. Okay, Indeed, but Polterizer almost went like the majority of that overtime without using the piercing sight. It was really, I, I, I really expected to see it more. I don't know why he held onto it for so long, but I'm sure he has his reasons. Well, it's like you said, right? He might have just been waiting for that ghost war, but unfortunately, it didn't quite work out for him. But back on this ranger now, and Demon back on the Blaskovich. Didn't even get a chance to see the uh, the final champions. Haven't seen Demon Scale Bearer, haven't seen Polterizer's Clutch just yet. Well, that's the nature of overtime, right? If the match is going slow enough, you don't Ooh. really need to see the whole, the whole roster. Demon tries to get a mid-air right there. Doesn't quite land it. He's got to be kind of careful, though. I mean, he hasn't really got the fast-firing, almost like hit-scan-style weapons. Only had a rocket launcher on hand, but still did really respectable damage, just confidently standing there and controlling the location. Oh, wow. Of, wow! Nice. Getting a frag really quickly. Polterizer on visor already. That was a good shot. But that's the, that's the nature of the rocket. I mean, we can see he's just picked up the mega health, and Demon sees the power-up's not there, so he just knows Polterizer's gone for it. But yeah. he himself is controlling the heavy armor, though. Oh, there's the dual wheel. Yeah. Shredding him down very quickly, and he's chasing this, too. He's taking big damage, dropping down the ground, gets hit by one rail. Bear in mind, he did actually manage to pick up a rail before he walked into that dual wheel. Oh, we're sitting again, though. Oh, yeah. Polterizer gets that one. This could be the even out, but no, Polterizer isn't quite yeah. connecting he, them. He has to try and dodge these rails for days. He can't afford to take a Polterizer actually meeting the rail with the default SMG and managed to win that fight. Polterizer now so weak and Demon on the chase. All he needs is one rocket, catches it, but again, Polterizer with a sliver of health left, takes it again, he's still alive! Oh, Demon unfortunately fumbles the rocket kill and commits suicide. Polterizer throwing a life fight and able to secure that mega health in the middle of that 1v1. That was... He did survive. That was just really unfortunate. Demon did so well in all of those exchanges, but just couldn't get that final bit of damage he needed. And at the last minute, he suddenly blew himself to pieces. Oh, Demon trying to control him off that, that heavy armor. Doesn't want to let him pick it up for free, but unfortunately he damages himself again. Polterizer shoving him all over the place with that lightning gun. Demon does opt to just get out of there, pick up the mega health, and on a big beefy character like Scaleberry, you can see how much health he actually gets from that. Yeah, just short of 200 at this stage. That's more than enough to survive. But as you can hear, actually, Polterizer predicting the uh, teleporter, but no patience from Demon actually to wait it out. Almost second guess it. Polterizer was still there. He is patient till the end. He knew he was going to take that fight. Demon's still 125 HP. All a fight for the heavy armor, though. LG, these giant champions can... They really can tank these heavy fights. But then again, again on 17 health at this stage, Polar Rise, does he have his piercing sight available? That's the question. Definitely heard him running away, but it's going to take quite a while for these large champions to stack up compared to some lighter ones. Just that extra split second it takes to pick up a health item might be the difference between getting chased down and finished off or not, basically. Indeed, but once again, we can see Demon here. The mega health is up. Needs a player. There we go. I think Polterizer must have just picked it up, weighing along the edge. Nice oh, teleport. hops straight into a little bit of a rocket. Again, a very sort of slow-paced game. Oh, doesn't walk into it. 
walks straight in front of him right there. That point blank row, you can see just how punishing that can be though. Not being able to swap away from the rail until it's sort of, I don't want to say cooled down, but ready to fire again means you can't quite snap to it. Or snap away from it, I should say, as you have been able to before. Gets a nice rail this time though. Killing 90 damage, 80 damage. Adding up and three in a row. Demon with three shots back to back for a clean kill. And Polterizer forced on his clutch for the first time. Now we'll see what his clutch has to offer. Trying to catch him up top, but again, he's caught. Wow, early. this could be an early kill. That's a terrible spot to get caught. No shield wall either. Polterizer just kind of letting that one rock. Maybe expecting to run away, but either way, just... We didn't even get a chance to see his clutch in action there, just completely destroyed. It does seem a little bit like Polterizer is being a little bit too... Well, I don't want to say greedy, but he, he's clinging on to these abilities a little bit too much. Like, he just... You pick well, a champion for the utility, you know, because you want that passive, you want that ability, mainly the ability. But right now, Polterizer just isn't getting as much use out of them as he probably could have. And, you know, on the other side, Demon always ready for that dual wield. That is definitely one of the answers to clutch, is to almost, like, rush him down. If you catch him on a good spawn, do not let him to get... Don't let him get the weapons he needs to become the headache that Clutch can become when he's fully ready to go. Oh, and there's the LG, gets the dual wheel now. This is bad. The Polterizer almost manages to even it out with that rocket, but once again, Demon just prevails in the 1v1. Ultimately, I think it's a matter of Polterizer being unbelievably passive and Demon just knowing when to go in. You know, well, like this, this is how Demon was playing at the start, but as Demon's getting more aggressive, Polterizer remains to be this careful. Which are understandable, it's definitely better not to rush these duels, but at the same oh, yeah, time, there sure. comes a point that you just need to take those fights and have a bit of confidence. Well, I mean, if you can just do the math right, you know how much health or armor your, your opponent is likely to be on, you know what pickups, pickups have been taken. Just doing the math of how much damage you've done, knowing when you can chase or can't chase. There's been a couple of instances there where Polterizer really has been able to chase it down if he wants to, but he's been a little bit held back on doing that, and because of it, he's let some frags go kind of unpunished. It's the health regen of Blaskovic, though, on the way up. Oh, he gets caught with the dual wheel on the way up. Yeah, this could be a yeah, guaranteed kill. Once again, Demon with that dual wheel. As soon as he sees Polterizer there, he's visor. He has no quick way but to once, get away. Once again, he's got that really, really good respawn. Polterizer forced in a terrible situation. Demon is right near him and clutch with just a regular nail gun. He does not have what he needs to survive this fight, especially when he's getting railed from distance. He needs to make something happen, but at this stage, yeah. Actually, at the last minute, I don't agree with the option to use the shield wall to go into the orbital drill. We saw the drill used at the last minute, almost to try and contest with that range. But in that situation, I really would have liked to have seen the clutch shield saved and just used to get out of there, rather than going in for the drill and trying to fight back in a fight that he just couldn't win with the health he had.